Hello and welcome to English with Mr. D. In today's pronunciation lesson, we're going to be listening carefully to the difference between beach and English with Mr. D. Okay, so these two words are called a minimal pair. That means that the pronunciation is very, very similar. Only one sound is different. As a result, if you're learning English, it can be very different to hear the difference between them. And if you can't hear the difference, then it's going to be almost impossible for you to produce the correct pronunciation. And that can cause all sorts of misunderstanding or fun or embarrassment, depending on the words and the situation. Okay, so I'm going to take you through a few minimal pairs with this sound today, but let's start with everyone's favorite. This is beach and this is bitch. Beach, bitch. Can you hear the difference? So in beach, we have this long E sound. E, 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 beach. In bitch, the E is much shorter. E, 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 bitch. Watch the difference with my mouth and tongue position. In beach, my mouth is wide this way and my tongue is pulled back. Beach. Beach. In bitch, my jaw relaxes and drops. Same for the tongue, relaxes and drops. Bitch. I'm going to alternate between the two again so you can hear them side by side. Beach. Bitch. Beach. Bitch. I know that many of you will be cautious about using beach and you might even avoid it altogether for this reason. And of course, there will be those among you who enjoy the word just a little bit too much. I love the beautiful beaches. I lie on the beaches. I go to the beach. <laughs> it's important to note the beach is a normal word. The place on the coast where lots of people go, um, especially to enjoy a sunny day perfectly acceptable in polite conversation. But that is certainly not the case for the other B word. Although literally a female dog, it's much more commonly used as an insult. It doesn't really have a sexual connotation like it does in some languages, but it's a pretty mean way to talk about somebody. Normally, but not always, a woman. There are quite a few different meanings of the word, but let's try and focus on the pronunciation. That's why we're here. We actually get the same minimal pair in sheet and shit. As a teacher in the classroom, I get a lot of laughs from students that can't hear the difference. So I say, does anyone need a sheet? I'm going to collect the sheets, as in the worksheet, the piece of paper with the exercises on it. And there's normally one kid. <laughs> and it's actually the same sound that we heard in beach the long E, sheet. To my ear at least, distinctly different from the short I of shit. Sheet, shit, sheet, shit. Can you hear the difference? That's the first step, hear the difference. If you can't hear the difference, I recommend you ignore the spelling and just listen to the sounds. Don't look at the word. It's not always bad words either. There's a whole range of minimal pairs that are only separated by this E or I sound. We have seat and sit. Same thing, long E, seat, short I, sit. Seat, sit. And we have sheep and ship. Sheep, 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 ship, ship, ship. See how a small change in pronunciation can make a massive difference to the meaning of the word ship and sheep. Now you try. I'll say a word and you decide which one it is. Bitch. Bitch. Sheet. Sheet. Seat. Seat. Ship. Ship. Now you know how to pronounce beach and all of these other words correctly. 
so you can do so confidently, but in the right situation, because with great power comes great responsibility. Don't forget to lick and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.